Well, it's always a sure sign of spring when we start talking to the folks at SeaWorld. And Al Kelly's with us this morning, the animal behaviorist out there. I used to call you animal trainers. Uh, but I don't think anybody trains these little otters, do they, Al? No, not yet. Just their mom. Uh -huh. This is their birthday today. We should, should we sing happy birthday to the otters? Real How quietly. They? They're a little scared. They're two months old today. Two months old. What amazes me is your able assistant here, Alan, says he can tell each, each one which it is by its name, <laughs> by its face. That's right. We have uh, Alice and... And Trixie with us today. In fact, if you can hand me Alice, we'll go ahead and let Joel feed him a little bit. Oh, boy. What fun it is. I'm going to just take some protection. Hey, why don't you? Oops. <laughs> They're jumping all over the place. Oh, boy, he's holding up. Huh? Like a coat, ladies? Uh, oh, OK. Hopefully, yeah, somebody yelled, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, so why don't we come go back ahead and switch. Here. We'll get. Yeah. We got the wrong I one got here the already. excitable one here. <laughs> no. There you go, there's now Alice. These, these were born in captivity out there, right? That's right, they were born right out there at SeaWorld. Is that unusual, Al, uh, for uh, It is, it's very unusual. Captivity? Especially, in, these, all these animals are, are indigenous to uh, Vietnam, Ooh. Korea. They're uh, Asian river otters. And uh, it's, we're very happy to have all of them born right here at SeaWorld. Now, Ohio. I've seen in the in the you know in the in the seal and otter show and all those things that do all kinds of little uh, you don't like to call them tricks I call them tricks you call them behaviors but wh when do you get to the point where you can start training them to do some of these things these guys won't be in shows for quite a while we're just gonna let them sit with mom and have a good time you don't want to drink what's the matter with this burger here <laughs> come on this one's pretty hungry yeah so when is the season gonna start this year well we open up May 5th yeah. or, excuse me May 7th May 7th and go all summer long, be able to see the good shows out there. Yeah. <laughs> now, how much will these fellas weigh? How big will they be? When they They'll get up to about 10 pounds. Right now, they're about a pound and a half to two pounds. Mm -hmm. What do, what do uh, otters normally eat? They'll eat shrimp and fish. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right now, they, this is about as close as they can get to the mother's mm -hmm. milk right now. What's this one's name, right here, Alan? Th that one, you have Alice right there. Alice? Alice, would you like a shrimp cocktail, Alice? That'd mm -hmm. be better than this, huh? <laughs> huh? This one's a little messy here. <laughs> what, what kind of great new thing? What kind of great new things are we going to see out at SeaWorld? Well, we're going to see a, a brand new set of animals at uh, Shamu Lynch. Stadium. Yeah. We're going to see some Pacific black whales, uh, whose names are Noah and Starbuck. These are new whales. New whales. They're called Pacific black whales, and they've never been seen before in uh, Ohio. Are they going to Are they going to live in the, in the tank with Shamu? They're going to be Shamu's companion this year. That be neat. I don't think this one wants, he's not hungry or something. Not hungry? What's the matter? You want to switch and get the messy one? <laughs> no, I'm messy enough as it is. Huh? Stage fright. Ah, I haven't been on TV before, huh? They heard that opening round of applause and they all started to bail out the back here. What, what do you call little otters? Are they uh, are they pups or are they... Uh, they're, they're little pups. Little pups. How many does the mother usually have at one time? They, normally they're about four. This one uh, had five to six sometimes. And uh, it's very hard for them to nurse all five or six at the same time. You see, some of them, they're a little bit smaller than the others. Yeah, that's kind of a little runty one in there. Yeah. She yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can see Alan's having a, has a handful there. Not hungry anymore either, are you? Okay. Beautiful. Anybody animal. there want to... Uh... Look, at this, he's getting all messy all over his face. He's got milk all over his face here, Al. Well, we're going to be doing shows out at SeaWorld, incidentally, again this year, as we, uh, we do from time to time. We'll be out at the end of May, and we'll be telling you all, at, all about that. And, hey, guys, <laughs> what are you going to do? He's I'm, chewing right now. I think he's had about enough of me here. <laughs> <laughs> How big will they be when they finally... Uh, about 10 pounds. You said 10, but... Yeah. Uh, They'll be about uh, 13, 14 inches long. Wow. Right now they're Big what, about stuckers. six? Well, thank you for bringing them this morning, Al. Thank you. And Alan. <laughs> they chirp kind of like birds, don't they? They don't make they a sure noise. They do. Whoops. <laughs> well, you guys have fun, and we'll all be out to see you this year at SeaWorld, huh, folks? Will they be on display? Yes, they will. Oh, They'll be boy, okay. where everybody can see I'm going to put you back in there. You're a lousy eater. This one. <laughs> Other things he does quite well, but eating isn't one of them. Uh, you're going to meet Lynn Moody from Knott's Landing in just a couple of minutes after the news. But we'll be right back. Up next, you'll meet actress Lynn Moody. Maybe we can find out what evil lurks in the background of her character Pat Williams on Knott's Landing. And then you meet actor Parker Stevenson.
starring in the new ABC show called Probe.